Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Just a quick preface, this video is way different than any other video I make. I'm gonna try and keep it short. If you're not into it, whatever. But, quick little, I don't know, preface, intro, or whatever. I'm here, this isn't my house. I am at like a baller uh, Airbnb out here in Austin, Texas. We got pool, hot tub. I'm actually in the pool house right now. It's crazy, I feel like I'm on the lifestyles of the rich and famous, but, I am out here, this company Beard Brand is kind of hosting a little men's retreat with other creatives, a lot of YouTubers and Instagram guys just kind of hanging out, chatting, connecting, talking about life, work, struggles, this kind of thing. And I was invited out and you're like, why were you invited out? I'm like, you don't have a beard. You've never had a beard. You'll never, you'll never have a beard. I'll get to that very soon. Oh, sorry, my friend Talon out there does have a beard. And he's friends with Beard Brand and they're like, hey, you know anyone else that would be like a good fit that would be cool to have out here? And Talon was like, yo, Mike would be cool to have out here. And he asked me and then I talked to Beard Brand like, we'd love to have you out, so I'm out. And you're like, still, like I don't get the connection with Beard Brand, Mike. I don't get the connection with Beard Brand. So basically I'm surrounded by a bunch of dudes. We'll get into them soon. Bunch of dudes out here, most of them are in the main house with just legendary beards. Like a beard, like a true proper beard. And I've let mine grow now for, it's about a week, maybe maybe 10 days, a week, somewhere from seven to 10 days of growth. Cause I like pre-grew it out. I was like, I, I don't mind being the, the brunt of people's jokes at this beard get together. But just, just for kicks, I'll let mine grow. And I'm, I'm showing you, this is important. I'm showing you because I don't have a beard. I've never had a beard. I don't think I can have a beard. I have tried to grow my beard. I think like 30 days is the most I've ever gone. And I just, it's disgusting. I look at myself and I'm like, what are you doing? Gross, shave it off. So I was talking to all of them and you know, I've come to you know, become friends with, with, with them. They're all very nice guys. I don't think they would intentionally try to lead me astray. And with 100% all of them, every single one is like, Dude, I think you could grow a beard. Now, it's not gonna be a great beard, but I think you could grow a beard and you should do it. And I was like, I don't think I should. I think that's a horrible idea. I don't think I can grow a beard. Uh, but I owe it to you guys because you are gonna have to be watching my disgusting face over this journey for the next one, two, maybe three months while I promise to them I would let it grow and see what happens because I've never gone that long. So this video might be interesting to some of you if you are plagued by also not being able to grow a beard. I blame my half Korean genes for that, but I'm here with a bunch of beard guys. So I figured I'd make a little video asking them for beard advice while I do my first, attempt, first real attempt at trying to grow a beard ever. And if you watch no more of this video, I just, I just wanted to make a video that's apologizing for how I'm gonna look in videos over the next, next handful of weeks because I don't think it's gonna be good. But wish me luck. Now come and meet some of my new friends. All right, we're here with two bearded gentlemen. Actually, Carlos probably got the, the, most, the most baller beard. He's got the all. beard clout. Yeah, he's got like the true thick beard here. Carlos with Beard Brand. This is Town Side. You've seen him on the channel. And what do you, what do you, like, Talon, you're my friend. We're what, friends. What are your honest thoughts on the potential of my beard? And also, two part question give us your best tip for growing your first beard. So, since I'm probably the first person you're asking, I mean, I, I feel like I've told you in the past, I'm like, you should try to grow a beard. And you're like, nah, I look disgusting, whatever. But I was always like, I think you have enough hair that you could grow a beard. And then all of these guys are even more hyping you up. They're like, dude, you can definitely grow a beard. So I'm gonna trust like Carlos and Eric's opinion more than anyone else. Though I do feel like Carlos is the least confident in, <laughs> in my beard. He's like uh, the most honest with me. I don't know, man. I think... Uh, not really, I, I'll tell you what I think. I think you should definitely give it a shot, which I think you are now. Um, since I'm the first one, I'm gonna give the most general, stereotypical answer is just don't shave. 
it's super hard to let it grow for a month or two without touching it at all because it's annoying, you feel like you look bad, but the longer you let it grow, the more hair you have, the more chance you have to then go to a barber and style it and actually make it look presentable. And then when you get a good beard trim, you're like, all right, this might be the new me. So that, that's my opinion. All right, Carlos, real thoughts. Can I do it slash what would be your main advice for trying to start it out? I think talent really said it all, but I think you can do it, yes. And the only reason I didn't say anything was everyone was jumping you on you and I thought, man, I don't want to be part of this. <laughs> pressure. <laughs> There's just so many guys, really. So I'm glad you asked now. Yes, you can. And the advice is the same as everyone else, man. Last talent said, don't touch it for a while. And I would say, really don't touch it. Even, even your, your mustache, that's gonna get annoying for a little while. And especially around here. Grow a neck beard for a little while, and then just use a bunch of beard oil when that itch come and you get the, you really wanna like peel your skin off or just shave it off. Yeah, so just soften it up with washing it and just moisturizing that with some beard oil or a balm. And also a tip, like you said, don't touch the mustache or your neckline. A, lo a lot of people don't realize that a lot of the thickness of a beard comes from your neckline. So a lot of people will cut it way too high yeah. and it just looks bad. So you actually have to let that part grow out even though it looks kind of shitty at first and then that's when it becomes more full. Yeah, then it's like you said, you go to your first beard trim at the barbershop and you're like, dude, I can actually have a dope beard. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I, it's, it's a lot of patience, man, at first. Especially when you see yourself way different than we see you. You think you can't grow the beard and we all think you can. It's because you haven't experienced it growing with what you think you have less hair. And I think once you let it all grow and all catch up because some slower than others on the growth, then you'll you'll see, yeah, man, these dudes were right. All right. Damn. I still think they're crazy, but <laughs> appreciate the advice, guys. All right, so what I didn't film was we were like having round table discussions, chats about everything, like I said. It was a big group thing. I'm the only one without a beard, the outcast, whatever. And they were asking me like, why don't I have a beard? And I was like, isn't it obvious? Because I can't grow one, guys. Like, I would take one if I could. And they're like, they're all like, what? You could totally grow one. And I was like, all right, it's a funny joke. Quit picking on me. I can't grow one. And they were all like shooketh uh, at the thought of me having never tried. So now I'm gonna continue walking around, getting some more answers from people. All right, we made it into the house here. We actually got a, got a podcast when I go over there, so my bad. And we'll start with you, huh? This is Taylor from Best Damn Media. I'll, I'll let you guys intro yourselves. Well, I mean, you're probably gonna say it better than I am. I'm gonna make it awkward. <laughs> you got it. No, okay, Best Damn so EDC, yeah. As we've been talking about trying to grow my first beard, do you think there's hope slash for people that don't have naturally amazing beards, what Absolutely. would your advice be? Like what the other guy said, let it grow, right? But think of it from another perspective, which is like I'm growing my hair out right now and you have so many awkward phases of growing your hair out, facial hair is no different. You're gonna go through an awkward phase, but just keep going through it and you'll, you'll come out on the other side and you, you won't know until you do, right? I'm growing my hair out and it's terrible. Like I grow up, I wake up in the morning, my hair's sticking straight up, it's all over the place, but I'm, I'm just gonna keep growing it. Just dealing with it. I'm wearing a hat, so there's a there's a little bit of a cheat. A little hair flip for it, look at that. There's a little bit of a cheat, right? Cause I can, I can just do this until that, that awkward phase is over, but yeah, I mean, it's treat it like hair on your head. If you're going to grow it out, you're gonna have some awkward phases. Stick it out. So I'll be awkward for a little while. Thanks, man. Yep. Good luck. All right, we took it out here for this one because audio was horrible in here. This is Greg Brzezinski, male model, extraordinaire. <laughs> and what, what do you think? We've talked a lot this weekend. What do you think? Do I have a chance? But also tell us kind of about your own personal journey that's kind of related. I actually am the one who's probably encouraging him most because when I look at Mike, I see myself. I was a guy who thought 
that he could not grow a beard. And for the better part of my adult life, I had zero beard at 18, minimal at 25, 30, pathetic, 40, getting a little better. And I would take inventory of my beard by growing a goatee every Christmas and look at the sides, no connection, shave it off. And I did that for 15 years. And then when I got on social media, people started saying, hey, I think you should give it a little longer. And I gave it 30 days, still wasn't satisfied, shaved it off. Went back one year later, I said, I'm gonna wait more than 30 days. And so I gave it 60 days. And you know what? What I thought was pathetic was able to be covered over when the hair got long enough. I have patches on my beard. If you know anything about me, I have some severe patches, which prevent a lot of people from growing their beard. So if you are like Mike, who thinks he has some patches or some thin areas, a lot of times your beard will cover and fill in with more hair. It's not for everyone. If you have big bald patches, it's not gonna cover over. But if you have a general even coverage, it will cover over. But my advice for Mike would be, yes, give it 60 days, give it 90 days. But beyond that, I'm gonna say, cover the mirrors in your house, <laughs> avoid taking selfies, Anything you can do to not put the focus on looking at your beard. A lot of guys will over-focus and like, did it grow today? Did it grow today? It's just like working out. It's just like losing weight, growing your, watching your hair grow, watching your grass grow. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a thing that's gonna take time. So give it some time and if it helps, I'm serious. Stop looking at yourself. Brush your teeth in the bedroom. Just don't look in the mirror as much and give yourself a chance. And I think Mike is gonna be rewarded by what is going to be a reasonable beard. All right. Good luck to you, Mike. <laughs> we'll see. I appreciate the confidence boost. Thanks, Greg. I'll put his link down below. All right, I'm just bringing everyone outside here where the lighting is okay. This is Jeremy. Jeremy, same question. Uh -huh. Can I do it? Will I look like an idiot or not? And what is your advice? But tell us about yourself real quick. Jeremy, I have a beard. So I am uh, a very long beard at that. So I am extremely uh, knowledgeable of the group. on this particular topic. Uh, no, man, I think it's going to be a great beard. I do. I think Mike is being way too hard on himself. I think a lot of guys think because their beard doesn't come in like Carlos's. Did you have you done Carlos We've done yet? Carlos, we talked about how legendary. His it's. Beard I is. mean, the dude has got like eighty-seven thousand hairs per square inch. He's one of those guys that shaves at eight o'clock, and by like eight thirty, he's already got a five o'clock shadow. You know what I mean? Like, so I think if people think that if they don't have that kind of density, that they can't grow a good beard, and that's just not true. My beard's not even remotely close to as dense as Carlos's, and I've got a mane. So I mean, I think it's not the fullest beard I've ever seen. But I think if you let it grow for a little while, get a little bit, those little spotchy bald spots are gonna fill in. I think it's gonna be glorious. And I told you the other night, because your beard hair is straight and it's not like pubic hair like mine, super <laughs> curly, I think it's gonna lay better. I don't think you're gonna have as many problems keeping it groomed up. Advice would be, let it grow, give it at least, I know you said you have a thing to go to, so depending on how long you have, but I would give it at least a couple months to let it fill out and see how it looks. Use your beard care products, like the stuff the guys here, beard brand. Putting beard oil in it really helps with the dry and itchiness in the beginning of you know getting through that awkward phase. Um, and just let it go, man, for at least a couple months and see how it looks. Keep it trimmed up around the neckline so it doesn't get too rowdy because I know when I was growing out, that was my wife's biggest complaint. She didn't mind me growing out the beard, but I looked a little homeless for a while. Oh, yeah. So trying to maintain the lines and keeping it a little tuned up, but not for like the first couple months. The first couple months, you just got to let it go, man. <laughs> Let it go. It's going to be legendary. It was 84% of the people on Instagram agreed, man. That's true. There's That's a lot true. of things. The mustache is going to be legendary, bro. I can see it from here. Fucking Tom Selleck over here. I'm telling you, it's going to be good. All right. Well, thanks for the confidence boost. Appreciate the Anytime, feedback. Anytime, brother. Anytime. All right. So we're here with the man, Eric. He's actually the one that invited me yeah. to the event. So Eric, who are you? And then also... Do I actually have a chance, or are you actually all just punking me? And some advice from a man who should know quite a bit. I should know, but I know nothing. I am uh, the founder of Beard Brand. Uh, you can find us over on Beard Brand or Beard Brand Alliance, and done a couple hundred videos on how to grow a beard out, so I might know a thing or two. And uh, Mike, Mike's good. He's, I, I'm, I mean, I'll be fair. I think a lot of people will fluff him up a little bit. 
I think he does have areas of patches, but that doesn't mean he can't grow a look that looks cool. Now, Mike's never going to have a great big, full, thick beard. And I think his biggest challenge is going to come being coming to terms with the fact he doesn't have a full, thick beard and not letting that hold him back from having a really cool facial hairstyle, which is entirely possible. It's good. It's a good answer. Eric's also super tall, so I'm like <laughs> yeah. having to hold this camera. I hope you've been doing your overhead presses. And then what's, it, what's some advice for someone that wasn't genetically blessed with a crazy amount of facial hair but wants to try out a beard? Yeah, I, I think the general rule is uh, grow what you got. So if you grow, if you have a good mustache, like I have a really good mustache, that's why I kind of rock a, a mustache style right now. Uh, you tend to lean into the areas that grow good. If you have a good beard, you have a good sideburns, just kind of grow that. And then you can also rock facial hair if it's patchy, but generally speaking, the patchier it is, the shorter you want to keep it. So have a good mustache, grow that longer, but have a patchy beard, keep that shorter. That's right. Well, I'm going to take some of that advice, but also just let it grow for a while. Yeah, sometimes it, the, the first thing you have to do is, uh, well, everyone already said it, you have to let it grow because some hairs actually grow a little bit slower than other hairs. And when they grow slow, uh, if you're shaving regularly, you're not really giving it an honest chance to see what kind of potential you truly have. All right. Thanks, Eric. Beardbrand.com. Peace. All right, we're here with Jeff, a man of efficiency and legendary beard status. Jeff, tell us about yourself, same question. Is there actually hope and new beard growers, what's some good advice? Yeah, so I, I heard what a couple of other people were saying and I, I had this analogy of, it's like growing it, like everybody was saying, is kind of like a garage door opening. You don't really get to see what car you have, so to speak, until it's fully out there, it's fully grown. And you go, okay, here we go, we got a Corvette and, or, you know, Honda Fit, whatever it is, you take that out. I'm a Honda Fit, is that, that's what you're saying probably? So, but if you're <laughs> looking at yourself as a Honda Fit, you don't want to throw on like, you don't need to raise it or, or do things that you would do to a truck if it was a truck. You want to go, okay, here's a Honda Fit, what can I do to this? Do I want to put it in a, you know, uh, off-road system and embrace that Honda Fit and really make it really freaking awesome. You don't really want to compare it and say, oh, uh, you know, I'm going to try to make it super fast like you would if it was like a, like a, you know, a sports car or something. Okay. So doubling down on what it is, is going to make anybody else look and go, oh, you know, I kind of want a Honda Fit now. They, they look what they did to it. And I, there's always, in my opinion, there's always something you can double down. That's the first thing. And then second thing is like a practical takeaway is find the hierarchy of, of growth, I suppose. So you have a great mustache and the great uh, jaw area. So your hierarchy might be like jaw one, great. It's doing everything you want. Two, mustache and then say cheeks. It's like, that's your hierarchy and that's what you double down. You go, okay, this is the m important part. Double down, this is the longest, next longest, then the shortest. Okay. And it's that attention of hierarchy. All right. So yeah, yeah. Well, thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Appreciate it. Cheers. Peace. Peace. All right, I'm here with Carl, another man with a very <laughs> respectable beard. Same question, give you a chance to intro yourself, tell us what you do, and then do I have hope? And what is some good general advice for someone's first beard growth? Well, my name's Carl Morawski. I have a YouTube channel under the same name. And uh, so over there, kind of what we're doing is, it's guys who, see I hate to use the word style because it's not what it is. It's really more about guys who want to be able to look decent, have stuff that's going to last forever, and live their life in it. So a lot of workwear, leather, boots, leather jackets, kind of stuff like that. So that's more or less what we cover, and the whole tagline is to own less and own better. Awesome. But as far as you go, I mean, you, can, you have the goods to do it, but you're going to have to let it grow out. That's the thing. Because a lot of guys like Carlos... They can sneeze and it's going to look good because it's like stubble, you know, but it's all over the place. Uh -huh. The difference is, though, yours isn't so dense. So 
But when you do grow it out, you'll have like a full John Wick kind of thing going on, which is kind of cool. Yeah, if I can get anything like Keanu, it won't be bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then just some other general advice for people trying to grow their first. Yeah, well, you never really know what's going to grow in until you let it come in a little bit. So you don't know where your cheek line's going to be. You don't know where the, you know, where behind the ear, some guys get like a cool looking curl that goes back. Mine's kind of straight. And so if you start trimming it up too early, you don't really know what it naturally wants to do. And so you're going to have weird like patches, like gray patches, because there's more hair that's trying to grow there. So the best thing to do, like I'm sure you've heard, is just let it grow. Um, but as you do that, it's it's gonna kind of show you what it wants to do. So I know a lot of guys who it grows like way high up like this, and it kind of goes into their mustache. Mine kind of comes down a little bit more here. And then you can start to trim around a little bit. But try not to trim the actual bulk of it, if your, your idea is to grow a little bit, because the ends of those follicles, when you cut them sharp, they get real itchy. And Because, you know, think about it, like a sharp thing against your skin, it just like, it becomes itchy when they've had a chance to kind of round off, it's a lot easier to tolerate. So you'll go through that itchy phase, but after that, you'll be able to grow it. And there's so many different things you can do from like short and professional to long to like Dumbledore, Dime Store Dumbledore, Sears, <laughs> you know, and like you could do everything in between. So depending on what you like and then change it up. And for guys like me, when there's nothing to style up here, it's all I got. So it's like the only thing that I can style. And uh, it's a lot of fun, man. Awesome, man. Appreciate the advice. Absolutely. Take care. See you, dude. All right, guys. So that's it. Again, I want to be very clear. I don't have any delusion that I'm going to grow something that is awesome. But all these guys wanted me to do it. I've always been curious if I just actually let it go, what will happen. And maybe this will help some of you guys. That Maybe I have some other Asian, half-Asian non-facial hair people that have something going on like me and want me to be the the test dummy for them. I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, I haven't talked to Ashley about this yet so we'll see. We'll see how she feels about it. Ashley's very cool though so I think she'll be fine. The only thing I know that she won't be happy about is she's pregnant obviously and she wants to do some maternity photos soon and that may fall right at my most disgusting stage. So we'll see. I may have to Photoshop my face in some of those. But that's that. Uh, Beard Brand didn't sponsor this video or ask me to do this or anything, but they are putting us up here in this cool spot. So definitely feel free to check them out. If some, by some miracle, I can grow a beard, maybe um, they've given me some, pro they've given me some products for my journey. And I'll tell you how those are maybe. But Otherwise, go check out all these guys. A lot of cool creators in similar veins. Not all of them doing exactly what I'm doing, but all great guys to give a follow. So I think I overlaid all their stuff in front and I'll put their links down below as well. And yeah, don't worry guys. I'm not turning into a beer channel or facial eti etiquette, fashion, I don't, none of those things, but I'm here thought it would be interesting a lot of guys with legendary beards maybe this will help you and at the very least it'll explain why I look so dumb over the next month or two or three cool guys all right well wish me luck I'll buckle down for the journey I swear I'll do my best to not shave luckily we're coming right into no shave November here so it'll be kind of the norm and yeah until next time, guys, take care.